doing. So I found out the NBA said they're going to cancel their games on November 8th so the players and the fans, nonpartisan, can go and vote. And my reaction is... <laughs> I hate to agree with Laura Ingram because... Um, She's a racist piece of trash, but she was right about when she tried to say this about LeBron James, but she's right about this. Shut up and play ball. I don't care about, uh, if you want to vote, you want to vote. What's that guy do playing basketball? If anything, the black players in the NBA should be fighting over that uh, oppressive system they got to deal with. Oh, typical racist a piece of trash commissioner Adam Silver telling them you got to be, now they're going to mess with the age range, tell them how old they got to be. They got to stand for national anthem. Where's the black ownership? Where is the black general managers? Yet the NBA likes to promote themselves because they've hired and general managers. But the majority of the cats who have rings as head coaches is white. Uh, Pat Riley, Phil Jackson, Greg Popovich got a ton of gang little rings. Okay? Red Allback did too. You know, Casey Jones got a couple as a black player of uh, what he as a as a as a head coach of the Celtics in the eighties, Bill Russell the player coach, Lenny Wilkins. I can name a handful. Al Atlas with Golden State. I can do this. But, you know, been a few, you know, it's so so low key. The nerve to say, well, we're going to take the game, we're going to play the night before so y'all can vote. What they need to be doing is tell black players to try to get reparations. Forget voting for these racist pieces of trash in this racist country. Uh, and not what I want to watch the NBA for. There's enough politics in the NBA already. Enough people think the games are fixed as there are. Big cities, big market, market, market. You know, you watch basketball, you know superstars play with certain teams. They have an agenda. It is politics. We don't need to be told that, well, uh, we'll take the game off so people can be inspired to go vote. That's the slickest, stupidest, dumbest thing I've ever heard. It ain't got nothing to do if you want to vote or not. What they ought to be doing is get rid of that piece of trash commissioner. And it's stupid anyway. If foreign players who are predominantly in the NBA now... They can't vote over here. So what good does that do? Luka Doncic, what's that going to do? I can go on. Jokic, the Denver Nuggets, the league's MVP for the last two years. What will that do? How can he empower you to tell you to vote when he don't even, he ain't even from here? Giannis and Tupapupo, Greek freak, brother from Germany. What's he going to do? Let's see how stupid this is and how dumb Adam Silver is? It's stupid. Now, what they need to be telling brothers is to get reparations. They ain't going to do nothing. But a lot of them, because the NBA stands for Negroes be acting, a lot of them go going to fool around and go conservative because of their tax bracket or put on a good face, front face. Because I said the NBA stands for Negroes be acting. But this turkey, this is a joke. The NBA is clown fest for this crap. I want to watch the game. I don't care about... There's enough politics in the NBA already. We know superstars get calls and Joe Blows get nothing. And there's a lot of acting, flopping, and of course there's big teams. The NBA don't want to come across fix. I dare you to have the Minnesota Timberwolves and the Toronto Raptors or the Minnesota Timberwolves and Atlanta Hawks in the finals. I dare you. I double dare you. Or the Denver Nuggets in Toronto or something. You know good and well that if they don't have a name brand there, they're not going to sell. So how much political can you get? How can you? And and that that's not even honoring Bill Russell. You need to educate. Taking a night off ain't going to do nothing. They need to be playing. This is one of the most ridiculous things I've ever heard in pro sports. But anyway, give me your thoughts and takes about the NBA going to take November 8th off so people can go vote. <laughs> What are you voting for? Jim Crowism? That's all you see around here. I don't see nothing. Uh, like I said, ain't no reparation. I don't see nothing. The NBA is pathetic and embarrassing. Please hit like, subscribe, welcome thoughts and comments. 
and I will respond. Wash your hands, keep your mind closed, watch out for another. They need to talk about how they ran my do I woo out for not standing for the anthem and Craig Hodges. That's what they need to do. They won't legislate stuff. They tell you how to be a good boy in the NBA plantation. That's what they tell you. I'm out.